Hi YouTube, um, today I'm going to give you a Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. Uh, just a little thing to show you how to make a media player. Pretty simple. It'll look like this when you're done. It's pretty simple to make. Just maybe one thing of coding. Uh, this is exactly what it'll look like. You can open up, once you click it, you open it. You can do a bunch of different things. You can do, well, it has to be in the same codec, I think it's called. Um, you can do music, like .wave, .mp3. It's the same thing as Windows Media Player, but, you know, it's just making something a little different. Making your own, learning a little bit. Alright, well, let's get started now. Alright, what you gotta do is first, uh, make a new form. Windows form application. Um, YouTube Media Player. All right, name it whatever you want. Um, all right, once you get this, do a little, little bit of this. Resize it if you want. Uh, first thing you do is you probably will not have it. You have to have a Windows Media Player thing. So you right click on all windows forms choose items go to com components scroll all the way down until you get windows media player what you want is you want this little icon right here that's the windows media player language neutral version 1.0 yada 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 hit ok then you scroll down it should be right here you click it once and you just drag it wherever you want to it doesn't need to be big doesn't need to be small um, what you gotta do is, wait for it to load, go over here to dock. That's the big thing, hit this, and then my problem is, you can't like resize it anymore once you do that, and you have to put the file menu, or the menu strip, or whatever you wanna call it. So once you do fill, you go down to this one, make sure so you can resize it, resize it maybe, I don't know, like that. And you go over here, you should have something called open, so open file dialog, click it twice, Click this file name, highlight uh, this, go to open file dialog, and you delete the file name. And then, all right, once you get that, um, you put in menu strip, like that, just drag it anywhere, doesn't really matter. Uh, type here, let's do file, and then you go here, type open. Then you get that, click off of it, click this, double click open. Then I will have this in the description. This is what you gotta type in there. Type in right here, right under private sub and all that junk. And then what you gotta do is you go back over here. And I mean you can change anything. You go once you click the form, you got the form highlighted, you go down to text right there and you type in whatever you want it can the name of your media player and then click over here it makes that I mean if you go to like an icon site which is pretty simple you just click here click the three dots you just browse through whatever you got it makes your icon and it gives you a little icon right here and uh so that's pretty much it. You can customize it, whatever size. Once you do that, you hit save all. Type in your file name, click a little bit of save. And after you get all that, it saves all of it. It's not, I mean, it's not a big file. It's maybe one MB or so. Uh, you hit start debugging. Bugs it, brings it up. Pretty neat. And then you got, uh, there's your media player. You can open, file open. This should work. You go to your music. And I'm not going to click that. I mean, it will work. MP3 sound format. It will work. Or, and some videos will work. Depends. Like, not .mov. That's like QuickTime. It's just got to be the same codec. And if I click the, if I click it, it'll overwrite my voice. So, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.